physical at the age of 70. He had gone, he didn't uh, often go for physicals, but he was planning a trip to Florida. And so I guess my mom booted his butt into the doctor's office where they did a complete, absolute physical, telling him his heart was in prime shape and everything was great. His liver, though, had a little, you know, some some scar tissue in it. But otherwise, they said, to he, and, and the matter of fact, my mother remembered the doctor said to her, he'll live, he'll outlive you by many years. Well, he died less than a week later mm-hmm. of a massive heart attack. So uh, the, that wasn't just exactly, when I read that, that's exactly what it, how it reminded me. And I just me. had the experience yesterday of a woman who came in whose husband was in, her early, in his early 40s who had, had a complete physical exam, said he was in terrific health. He had some diabetes, but he was in good health, and he died within a week. Of a massive heart attack. So, the, okay. but, but the positive side, I know you're going to be reading more, but the positive side, the message is, of course, taking a proactive stand. This is not, not letting something roll over you like, you know, you know, uh, what was that song? You know, something to the little one said, roll over, roll over. Then think, rrr, rrr, rrr. But like I see a massive wave and you're just lying there letting it just roll over you. You've got to be proactive. Sometimes you don't even see the wave. That's so right. So you have to be proactive. Absolutely right. Even an exercise ECG was completely normal on Tim Russert, yet they dropped, yet the men like this dropped dead of a heart attack soon after, even as they leave the doctor's office. These stories are true, says the doctor. Impending health disasters such as atherosclerosis are like ticking time bombs waiting to be triggered, sometimes by minor exertions or emotional turmoil. But in most cases, the vessels are not blocked off by crud growing in the artery. Rather, the blockage results from a blood clot triggered by the rupture of an arterial plaque. And while you're talking about that, and you talked about Tim Russert, remember there were other doctors' commentaries that he was on heart, he was on medications, including cholesterol medications, mm-hmm. which have been shown to increase the risk of heart attack? That's right. And his diabetes medications and blood right. pressure medications. Which have, and, okay. and there's all that's been in the news nonstop about mm-hmm. increasing heart attack and many major lawsuits relative to that. Yet in spite of that, he was told he was in good health, mm-hmm. and in spite of that, he died shortly thereafter. Rather, the blockage is the result uh, from a blood clot triggered by a rupture of an arterial plaque, which does damage by releasing free radicals and inflammation into the bloodstream. Okay, we've got to stop here. Okay. This is, uh, it, it's just loaded with information that we have to share. Okay, and that is, as I mentioned earlier, the fellow who came in and was on Cardiozyme. He said his cholesterol levels were down, with much improved cholesterol level, and the plaque is almost non-existent now in his arteries, which was quite a major factor before. They measured his plaque and said his plaque is, is vastly reduced. Okay, how by enzymes, folks? Simple enzymes, not drugs which give you terrible side effects and don't work but by enzymes, so very effective, so very safe to use. Um, And he makes an important point about enzymes in this article. Mm -hmm. He really 